So, yeah. It's going to be a it's going to be an interesting ride once we get deep enough in the atmosphere. Uh, speaking of getting deep enough in the atmosphere, I need to bring the bring the nose down just a little bit because I want to point prograde. Okay. Tiny amounts of fuel that I'm expending here. Um, I don't have a lot of it. I don't want to expend it all. But I do want to stay relatively high up in the atmosphere. Uh, as you can see, the atmosphere gauge actually has ranges. And when you make the crossover between this upper range and the middle range here, that's about mm, 30 some odd kilometers or 30 some odd thousand meters. Uh, so we want to stay up uh, because once we get down far enough, the atmosphere will grab us and then we will decelerate, uh, like it or not. And the Perry right now, oh boy, I gotta correct that Perry. It doesn't take all that much fuel to make uh, corrections. Uh, that periapsis is now kind of holding steady. But I don't have that much fuel, so I don't want to... don't want to burn it. And, and my nose is up, of course. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see that as you get deeper in the atmosphere, this becomes uh, more and more severe for corrections. I'm going to try to make this these corrections out to... Yeah, you can see I'm also burning energy off the apoapsis. Um, yeah, let's try corrections up there. Okay. There we go. I'm thinking that'll be better. Uh, for your sake, ship sir, you better hope so. <laughs> you better hope I'm doing this right. You're happy as all get out, aren't you? The heck is wrong with you? Why are you so happy anyway? Uh, yeah. This is about 37, and app is 40. <laughs> okay, so I now have an orbit which is entirely within the atmosphere. <laughs> I'm burning my... Oh, that's my Perry now. That's my app. My app is pretty much right where I'm at. My Perry has just disappeared. Um, it's not necessarily a good thing. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I think I put a little too much juice into that. Mm, nose down, nose down. Okay. All right, my app here is at, my peri is there, 51k. What's my current altitude? About 39k. Uh, I am definitely in the very upper reaches of the atmosphere. I'm still in the, still in the light blue up here, the very, or the dark blue, I should say. It's going to get lighter and lighter as I get deeper. Ooh, whoa, okay. <laughs> Come on. I no longer have a Perry, but I am also getting closer to my destination. 
You can see the continent that I'm after is right up here ahead of us. Uh, you have to wonder how NASA does this. <laughs> because this is hard. Um, oh boy. That's my app. Oh, my app is way, 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 way. No, I don't need to be burning anything now. I need the atmosphere to grab me. My app is right over the edge of the continent. And then I basically need to dive in order to get uh, over the mountains and back down. Oh boy. Well, this will be an interesting run. Um, only thing I can do is hope that the atmosphere does indeed slow me down enough. Uh, as long as I don't make any sudden, any additional burns anyway. I want to make corrections as soon as I can, because the sooner I make the correction, the better. I am now over the edge. That up there, that is KSC. That is my destination. That's the mountain range that I was worried about. I think I've overdone it. Oh, joy. Okay. Well, there is a way to violently correct this. Um, Shepser, hang on. Okay. This is a bad attitude to be at. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, crud. Crud, 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 crud. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Whoa. Oh. See, this is what happens to me every, every time. I wind up going upside down and backwards. There we go. See now we're now we're properly in the atmosphere, so now the SAS realizes what it's supposed to be doing. And we have some sort of control. And there's some debris and I definitely have overshot my uh I've definitely overshot. This is not good. <laughs> Shep, sir, you better start praying. I hope you have a good life insurance policy. Uh, because I don't have any fuel. So... We're... yeah. You do not want to be getting into the into this, Chef, sir. As we get deeper into the atmosphere, we're, we just crossed into the lower atmosphere now. Uh, as we get deeper, however, the drag increases, but so does the lift we get from the wings. Unfortunately, the drag's going to have more of an effect first. Unless I get this nose down, I'm going to stall. Stalling is bad. So let's get that nose down, huh? Nose down, nose down, nose down. Okay, so we have overshot, and we need to turn towards land. Any land will do. Any port in a storm, huh, Shepser? 
You agree, don't you? Oh, you're just happy to be here, aren't you? Yeah, you're silly. Come on. Okay, let's see. Are we pointed at something? Uh, we are pointed at an island, and that is not good enough. Okay, well, actually, we're, no, we're, we're also pointed at land. Um, let's see if we can get a little bit more of a tilt. Um, yeah, see that 270 mark? That 270 mark is exactly on uh, reverse direction. We've almost done a, a, a complete U-turn here. Okay, well, actually, usually I might have more trouble than that. Um, that actually was not that bad. All told. Let's see if we can... Nose down. Nose down. You do not need to stall. But if I don't get this nose down, I will stall. <laughs> and I've stalled before, and a couple of times. This design, it is not fun. So I just have to keep the nose down, actually. <laughs> Which is strange, because a lot of other designs I have to work to keep the nose up. Come on. Actually, I think I might be pointed right back towards KSC. And the mouse is over the crew hatch. That's annoying. Well, we got 7,800 meters to, uh, to trade for forward distance there, Shepser. Seem to be quite happy with uh, this turn of events. I'm not even going to try to line up with the runway, I think. I think I'm just going to try to... Oh, nose is up too high. Get the nose down. Get the nose down. Get the nose down. If I don't get that nose down, I'm going to stall. There, I had to turn off the SAS there. I'm actually having to hold the stick all the way forward. The SAS is limiting the amount of movement that I get when I move my, uh, my joystick. But, while it limits the amount of movement I get when I move my joystick, it also uh, helps prevent me from going out of control. Keeps this thing from handling too badly. Well, uh, we seem to be going right along there. Come on. Little bit more, little bit further down, little bit further down, 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 deeper and down. Let's keep that nose keep that nose down. I'm not trying to point the nose straight down. If I do that, I will... I will mm, excuse me. If I point the nose straight down, I'm going to wind up going... well, pretty much straight down. <laughs> but if I can maintain level flight, I should be okay. Okay, come on. Come on. A 
Yeah, as I said, I've never managed to land on the runway, though, so... I don't think I'm going to start. Managed to get over those mountains, though, so I'm happy with that. And the approach vector really isn't that bad. In fact, it might be a little bit too high, if anything. Um, if I'm right, I think that's KSC. I think that's from, that's the ILS for KSC. I also think that visually, I should see KSC up ahead here. And that doesn't, I don't think that's it, that's not it. Uh, KSC is a lot closer to the ocean. But this pond I recognize, I just, I'm trying to place where KSC is in reference to that pond. And the nose keeps going up. Nose down. There we go. Need to keep installing. <laughs> well, I still got 4,900 meters to trade. I might actually have to do one more bank. This might be an S turn before I come back in. Hmm. Now we're starting to get some more details from the area. Yeah, we're too high still to really get a lot of the fine details, but we're getting closer, so the details are loading in. Now I never really took a look at what was on that island anyway. Hmm. Doesn't matter now. Uh, do do Not like I got fuel to do a flyby. Eh, maybe with one of my other planes. Okay, let's try diving in. Now you only seem to gain a little bit of speed at first, because as we uh, dive in, the air gets thicker, which means the air resistance goes up, which means we will slow down. the natural tendency of this airplane to want to point its nose a little bit further up all the time. I expect that, that won't really be a permanent problem. This is not KSC. Okay. I thought this was KSC. Apparently, I am wrong. Oh, that's right. KSC is off to my left. KSC is off that way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Well, Shepser, as I had mentioned earlier, any port in a storm, you are going to land, whether you like it or not. Might as well get the landing gear down. And check that it went down. There it is. It's down. Okay. Okay. So now that we are sufficiently low in the atmosphere, everything here is just very... This is a very efficient glider at this altitude because all the tanks are empty, so I've lost a lot of weight. Uh, and I've got a ton of wing surface area, so I'm literally going to be gliding in at 35, 36, 
meters a second. Hmm. Now the ground up here, even though it's um, oh, never, never mind that. The ground up here, even as we are we are approaching it, is actually kind of bumpy. So we're going to be landing on the on a bumpy, uh, bumpy plane, uh, which is not really a bad thing. So we've dodged over this. Uh, who knows, Shepser? Maybe we'll get you over there, and you can go have a dip. Now this altitude is altitude above sea level, uh, so having ground here means that the ground is not sea level, and that means that uh, we are going to be landing a little bit sooner than that. You can see the texture is coming up to meet us. We've got a slight up angle right now, that's about what I want to see. At this point, I don't want to ever bring the uh, this below the horizon. So I don't want to bring don't want to bring the altitude or the attitude below the horizon. But I need to make sure I don't stall. A stall at this altitude is absolutely lethal. So strangely enough, I have to point the nose down a little bit every once in a while. Uh, it's a very efficient glider, so long as you keep it under control. Control is the real big pain here. Okay. 240 meters. As I said, it, it's a bumpy plane. It's, it's not even, it's not flat. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit rough for landing, but our landing speed is very low, fortunately. Oh, we're all, we're like, wow, it's like 30 kilometers, that bit of debris. Oh boy. Keep it level. Keep level, keep steady. Easy. Take it easy there, Shepter. We're almost home. Almost back down on the ground. You can get out and kiss it soon enough. Little bit of an attitude adjustment here. Ground. And... No, 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 no. Get the nose down. Get the nose down. Nose. Okay. We are on our wheels. Ah, eh, just for fun, fire the parachute. Okay. Parachute will keep us down to a couple of meters a second. And now we can hit the brakes. Yeah, I've got brakes because I've got wheels. I've got brakes. <laughs> and we tilt into the ground. Oh, well, we have stopped. And that is the important thing. So we went to space and we came back single stage to orbit. Nothing falling off. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, so, yeah. That is that. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Have a nice day. Thanks.